Welcome my beautiful Scorpios. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the month of July 2021. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing your beautiful comments you leave behind, and of course, subscribing. Please be sure if you like what you see what I do please honor me and click the subscribe button and the bell button and make it ring and you'll also get notified when any of my card readings are out here or should I go live to give out free card messages. All the information on the cards I'm using and my website should you desire a private reading with me is posted below in the information box. So let's get right on with it my beautiful Scorpios. Your all of our energy card you've been given is protect guardian drop your shields so you might have been protecting your heart protecting yourself uh, you know holding up a shield because you were afraid of something you know maybe it's shame and it's resistance and fear that are standing between you and your chances to enjoy life and have fun so drop the guard uh, you you know you might have been in some situation in the past that's left you feeling this way guarded protecting your heart and protecting your your, your space around you know that you don't need to hide anything okay let out your gifts let the world know the gifts that you have out here it's beautiful so just know also that you're being protected you're being guided you're being guarded by high by higher self by sort by by source by the divine by you know your belief what you have your belief in so know that you're protected regardless let your guard down now is not the time to have to protect your heart protect yourself you're already being protected I like that coming in with your relationship or your romance card you have past life relationship okay look how much I use these cards how tattered they're getting <laughs> you know you have known each other before so some of you may have met somebody new um, or maybe you're reminiscing about someone that you were with but know that uh, that particular relationship the puzzle pieces fit so perfectly that you felt like you'd known each other forever and we've heard that saying before but you know it's almost like you've been together in other lives so if you're meeting somebody and that connection, think about this card, that connection is so closely knit, so quickly connected, then, you know, you, you may feel these wonderful feelings. So, uh, you know, let your guard down if you've met somebody new or you're trying to express yourself uh, creatively and to let let this other person know your feelings but I think you're going to be meeting somebody some some of you new that's going to connect very quickly with you and it, it could be a random meeting something suddenly that all of a sudden happens and so um, you know you're not going to believe it yourself but anyway this is a beautiful relationship that you could have with somebody now I don't look at it that it has to be a romantic relationship you could meet a soulmate you could meet a kindred spirit you could be meeting a friend along the way on your path where you just get along so well so it's beautiful energy to be able to, and those are rare moments those are rare people in our lives that we meet that we can connect that way with so something great is going to happen when it comes to community when it comes to your circle of friends and your soul pod okay let's see what we have for our first week so for your first week of July you have the five of cups you have the king of pentacles and you have the dice so I you know I think you know, you might be afraid to make an investment in something the first week. You might think that it's a risk, but I'm telling you something in the middle of this reading is the Midas touch card. This is the King of Pentacles who, you know, no matter what you do, whatever opportunities, whatever great inspir inspiring ideas should present themselves, you're going to be able to confidently step up and accept them. Um, you could have lost something in the past. Maybe you invested in something in the past, whether it was a relationship or whether you had sunk some reason resources and some money time effort or support into something and it didn't work out in your favor and you think about that yeah and it's okay to be guarded okay and to be mindful and to be cautious but don't allow yourself to miss a great opportunity I think there could be some opportunity coming in towards you now some of you could be dealing with large organizations lending institutions banks uh, anything like that this week uh, you could be getting involved in that this is a pretty uh, powerful king when the king of Pentacles shows up in a reading I mean this is all about financial security and you could be dealing with your employers or somebody you know involved in that but know that 
it's going to be a success. It's going to be a successful time when you're dealing with this. You may have promoted or, you know, you may have been offered a higher salary. You know, this is great. Take it. Don't be afraid. Uh, there might be extra work added on to this responsibility, but, you know, weigh your options because I think that you're going to be happy. Accept the opportunities that are offering, being offered to you right now and, you know, with confidence and you'll succeed. So this could be somebody here coming in, this earth sign, someone who's outstanding and has outstanding business skills and is good with money and can provide excellent advice to you as well. Maybe you're going to your banker. Maybe some of you are going to be going to your financial advisor, but take their word, take their wisdom, okay? Because they're very successful and this person's been successful in their career. Okay, they know how to enjoy the finer things in life now because of their professionalism. So I think you're going to be able to either this person's either going to be coming in this earth sign or you're going to be realizing that things are going to work out better in your favor successfully. So don't be afraid. For, you know, you may think this is, a, you know, a, a risk here, but I don't see it when the when the center energy here is coming in with the Midas touch. Now your second week, you have the Four of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Pentacles, and you have the beautiful card of the heart. I think, you know, looking at this <clears throat> in general, again, you might be coming, there might be an offer coming in very suddenly where you're going to have to, you know, think quick on your feet uh, and uh, listen to your voice of reason, of course, because I think there have been times for some of you where you, again, you had invested and you felt there was losses there and you're afraid to step up. But the universe is, and your God are telling you to let your guard down that this will not be such a gamble but be mindful be cautious of course that's normal uh you know you could be uh some of you this is a way this is the Four of Pentacles refers to the extremes in which you spend your money or save your money. Some of you will may have the resources now to go out and buy a big ticket item. Maybe you're going to buy a car or a house or something. For others, I think you're tucking it away in the cookie jar because you're saving it for that rainy day because you're afraid of losing it. Um, you know, don't hold on too tightly. Also, these opportunities and offers that could be presenting themselves to you this month of July, you know, um, I want you to be open-minded. They could be something you've never experienced, you've never thought you would get involved in, but do your research. I think you need to be a little bit more open-minded, not hold on so tightly, so rigidly. You've got the beautiful card of the heart. And I think you're going to be experiencing a lot of emotional energy uh, going through this month. And the, and the heart card is beautiful. I mean, it's about love. Uh, it's about a connection. It's about commitment. It could be engagement coming in for some of you. It could be taking your relationship to the next level where maybe you're going to commit totally and say, hey, let's move in together or let's stay exclusive because they are monogamous. When when these swans connect, they they take a mate for life. So you could be meeting your life mate or the relationship that you're in right now could be going to that beautiful next next level where you're going to make a huge commitment to each other. <clears throat> Excuse me beautiful. Now coming in with your third week, you've been given the three of swords, you've been given the hermit, and you've been given the birdcage with the key. <clears throat> now the three of swords generally refers to a uh, feeling of lack and loss, disappointment, sadness, grief. It can also be betrayal and a broken heart. Scorpio, I think, <clears throat> you know, you're healing through a situation that was in the past and it's left you guarded, okay? And you're, you're a little bit uh, you're a little bit nervous about wanting to let go completely. But when I see this card, it comes up to me that it's a healing card. Okay, you're working your way through something that did happen in the past. Now, it could be the loss and feeling of lack and loss in anything. It didn't necessarily have to be a broken heart over a relationship. It could have been a friendship. You could have lost a job. Uh, it could be anything like that. But also it can be read and it can be assessed as a third party that stirred the cauldron and maybe ha was a was a determining uh you know um was a determining factor in the reason that this happened uh you know it isn't for everybody but some people maybe you're going to say yeah there was a third party others are going to say no but regardless of that you're healing through this and for some of you i think it's taking you longer than you thought it would. <clears throat> but know that you're going to get through this. You've got the hermit and the hermit is you starting out on your own journey. And I think, you know, you may have been dealing with these feelings of the past and it's made you go within. 
and some of you might have pulled back and some of you also could be taking a time out from dating or from a relationship because you need that space to think about this part of your journey and what it is you want to do and that's okay I think you have this beautiful ability when we go within we never go without so we take ourselves to the silence and usually we we lose ourselves in that space and we start to see things it's like being a, having a vision uh, going on that vision quest when we're there in that space and time I think that some of you may be taking yourself to that that place of silence you have this ability though there's the resources there and you're going to get to see where it is you need to go and you're going to get the answers that you need answers to uh, you have all the resources there to light your path because you are this incredible person Scorpio that has the ability the foresight the empathy uh, you 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 know you're empathic you're you you have all these feelings that you can impart to others and you could be uh, seeking out mentors or teachers or you could be implementing implementing your ability to teach and be a mentor for others because you have that ability to light the path for other people coming in with the birdcage it seems it could be a gift being offered to you and the and, and it's right there for the taking I think you're hesitant I think you're thinking about it uh, you're not quite sure and again you know what maybe somebody's coming in to uh, connect with you on a personal level and you're nervous about it you're holding back you're you know you're, you're withdrawing you think about the past situation you might be making comparisons connecting the dots that you know of the past but know that you hold the key okay you're the boss you hold the key to go forward and get what it is you want now <clears throat> For others, it could be an offer of money. It could be a gift of anything, time, effort, support that somebody's offering to you. You could be offered a new position, something opening up, a gateway, okay? And this gate's there. It's open. All you have to do is reach in for that gift. And it could be for some the gift of emotion and love and others it could be the gift of prosperity in the material part of your life. Now coming in with your fourth and final week for this month of July, you have the Knight of Wands. You've already had the Knight of Pentacles and you have the Judgment card and you have the, the lilies, the flowers. So I think as we you move through the month of July, those issues that you perhaps were having of grief and disappointment and loss, uh, you know, feeling, you know, uh, you know, that things aren't going to work out in your favor, you're going to see that that healing is starting to get better as you push through. Um, I think you're going to hear about a great opportunity coming in. I mean, there is the energy here coming in, a fire energy here with the Knight of Wands, and that's fast moving action okay that is somebody coming forward that says hey you know I heard about a new job offer or I heard about a new client or I heard about a new inspiring idea and I think it's for you and you you're such an individual we all are and you stand in your uniqueness of that power and it's going to allow you to beat to your own drum you're going to be able to have more freedom you're going to be able to show your uniqueness and stand in your confidence I think some of you could be offered something very quickly that comes in and you're going to have to step up and address it you can't wait okay like I tell people you know especially if somebody's offered you something like that that has to do with your job or your career uh, if you hold up there's always somebody that wants to jump in your shoes so be aware of that but be cautious okay because you could be signing documents here okay this is you know this this could be uh, something that comes in quickly that's going to require you to to get up and travel to that area could be business travel you could be changing your residence all of a sudden you're going to be moving somewhere else it's almost like an emergency when this energy shows up okay but it also can be somebody who really charges in fast and it could be a hot and heavy sudden passionate love affair I love it so but it's a situation that will definitely require you to your immediate and full attention okay so it's important you don't make any rash decisions but stand in your assuredness and your enthusiasm and go for it okay beautiful I usually put this with signing of documents and contracts as well because I'm always leery I know you know I talk about that with a knight of swords but I always they always come forward and tell me to, to mention that as well because some of you could be dealing with you know life-changing or very profound contracts that you're gonna have to sign so yes get on it 
but read between the lines. You got the judgment card and I think a lot of you have made an assessment of what the past was like and you made that move. I know a lot of you Scorpios have literally moved on from a situation that left you that that was hard on you and you moved on and some of you have literally geographically moved on as well but you're you it's like you've had this rebirth or you're going to be offered this rebirth and you're going to be able to go forward and do what it is you truly want. I think you know you're going to take your fit your your soul pod with you those people who truly support you that believe in you that have faith in you and they they're there they're, they're they they're there to stand by you no matter what these you know i think you're going to be climbing mountains as you go through this but you're like the phoenix you've been through this heartache you've been through this disappointment you've been through these changes and now you've got this liberation liberation to go forward and create the magic the life that you want healing your final outcome card here is the flowers and they are lilies and these are peace lilies my friends so know that when they show up they're always a good card it's always a good energy coming in okay this is about calm and peace and serenity this also refers to a long-term relationship so some of you uh, may be meeting somebody new here as I said and this commitment's coming in so this is confirmation that there's going to be a long-term relationship whether it's in a love relationship or whether an emotional love relationship or a relationship with a business where you're going to be doing this for your career for for the duration of your working uh, working and career so beautiful well my beautiful Scorpios this is your reading for July and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here pardon me month of July here to look forward to always remember that I stand in this circle of love and light for you only so let's continue to play safe stay safe and be safe and I'll see you soon